God's beauty is all around us and my goal as an artist is to capture and interpret that beauty on canvas and to take you, the viewer, along with me on this painting journey. Hello and welcome to Painting Journeys. My name is Kitty Lynn Klisch and we're going to be taking a journey into the canvas today, into the heart of a rose, the center of the rose. Anyway, but before we get on to that, I want to thank you for uh, joining us today, for tuning in, and I also want to uh, share with you what we did on our last episode and how I finished that up in my home studio. So if you remember, we were in San Gabriel, California at the San Gabriel Mission. And on our last episode, I uh, had it, my painting pretty much blocked in, but I didn't have much detail or color and temperature. And so I've added uh, the, uh, some of the, the finer points of it, like on the arch, cleaned that up a little bit, added the fence, added a little more color, warmed it up in some places, and cooled it off in others so that it would have a nice contrast for you. Um, and so there it is, the San Gabriel Mission. It was the first mission uh, to be built by the, um, the Franciscan Fathers in California. And it was also the mission that made all the candles from the olive oil for, to supply all of the new missions that went up along the coastline of California. So, little history too. There you go. All right, now I want to talk about what we're going to do today. Um, this is um, my, my canvas. Um, let me tell you about this canvas. It is what they call a wrap around. It's very contemporary in that you do not have to frame it if you don't want to um, because it has this wide edge right in here that um, you just paint right on around. So if you're looking at the painting from, say, the side, you can see the painting uh, extending right on around the edges. And I'm not going to do this whole bouquet of flowers. I'm going to pick out what I feel is the star of the show. And that's this one right here. And I'm going to render that onto my canvas and in all of its glory and let the petals come out over the edge. And I can just see it. Now let's hope I can do it. Okay, here we go. The first thing I want to do is take some linseed oil. I have found when I paint florals that it is a nice idea to take a little linseed oil and put on your canvas to moisten the canvas and make it so that the paint moves. We want, especially with roses, we want that paint to move around the edges. And if you're wondering how I have this canvas mounted to this black board here, it's just taped on from the back side. Okay, so I'm putting on the um, linseed oil to make the paint be juicy. Hope I didn't put on too much. Just kind of wiping it down a little bit. Now we'll put this cap back on and and we'll let this sit over here. Now, you have to bear with me. I purchased a new palette. This is the very first time I've used it, and I'm hmm, not real sure if it's going to give me enough room to um, mix up my paint, but I'm sure hoping it will. If, it, if I like it, my next, my next objective is to get a great big one like this, but I thought I'd try the small one first to see if I like the design of it. If you remember, I usually um, hold a more of a square looking palette. So here we go, same colors as usual, um, always pretty much the same palette. The only one I have on here that's different today would be my Thalo Red Rose, and I'm using that so that I can mix that with a little bit of my um, uh, wind, um, 
it's yellow, um, Indian yellow, of which is a very translucent color, and to make more of a coral, uh, because I see a lot of coral in the rose. Okay, so we'll start mixing here, and then we'll be ready to go. Have to learn how to hold this guy. Now I have a nice red mixed up here, but I, I wanna uh, gray it just a touch. So I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of the complement and put a little green in there. I don't want it to be too bright. And then I'm gonna take some of it, move it to the side and lighten it up with my white and see what we get. Do we get a beautiful coral? Oh, I would say we'd have a beautiful coral. Yes, look at this. Look at this beautiful coral I have here. Whoa, pretty, pretty. I like it. All right. Now then, the inside of the rose is a deeper color. And so I'm going to use a little bit of alizarin crimson to darken a little bit of my color here. Mm -hmm. And perhaps just a tad of blue I want to make a nice dark color there because we have um, that rose is sitting in a cup and it's rather dark around the edges. So what I'm going to do now one nice thing about um, painting the rose in, in um, this way with the linseed oil already on the canvas is that you don't have to worry about adding a medium as you're, as you're painting usually. All right, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put on in the shape that I see it the cup of the rose. And then I'm going to draw where some more petals are going to be. Just kind of give me an, um, um, a place for the petals to, to show. All right, starting from the center of the rose, I'm now going to take a little tissue and I'm going to wipe a little bit of this off.
And what I'm looking for now is a little bit of the petal shapes inside the rose because they're very light on the edges. And you'll have to pardon me for being quiet because I'm thinking, always thinking and planning what is going to go next. My little baby center of the rose is right here. All right. And then we have petals that are now this is really, I really want this. I hope I'm not making my rose too small already. If I am, I'll just go ahead and add another rose um, because it looks like it's wanting to do something else. You know, you have to be open to letting the painting guide you. And if it wants to do something else, then let it. I'm seeing a, a really um, uh, some a beautiful rose shape here. By wiping out like this and just leaving dark, some darks to show where the edges are, this helps me to define my rose. As you can see, my rose is almost, uh, it's shaped already like a rose. This is a way of drawing the rose onto the canvas before you even begin painting. This way you have the, the lights and the darks where you want them to be. Now this is gonna go around the corner and this is a big petal that's coming down from right in here. And that's coming right there. All right, now let's see. Maybe we can get a little more to that rose. Let's come over here and make a petal that is coming off and then coming back on and coming there. All right, that gives it some nice balance. We'll darken this a little bit and darken this. And let's see here. Well, while we're doing it, let's just keep going. Okay, this here will come from over here and come down like this and come under here and over. And then we have this one and this one. Let's have one, a little one coming up here and coming down here. And then we'll have another one coming here and coming around here and there. Oh, now we're, now we're building a nice, a nice uh, big rose with lots of petals on it. And it, there more, it, it's more petals than I see but I don't really care because I have um, an idea that I want this rose to be a very contemporary rose and pretty much cover this canvas. That was my idea today. So it looks like it's gonna work for me. Um,
Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll have one more coming right across here. There we go. Now, we'll get rid of that. And we'll take a different, a different brush. And we'll start in the center there. I'm looking for just the right brush. Sometimes the oldest brush is the best one. I don't know why that is, but it's just they seem to take on a character and they're the, they're the best. Put a little yellow in this. I want this to be a little more yellow here. All righty. Uh, yeah, I kind of like that. That's pretty. This rose, particular rose, is called the Peace Rose. So we're going to come down and we're going to find this little, little tip there. We'll have to come behind it to show it up a little bit. And then we have a lighter, a lighter um, petal in here. We have a lighter petal in here coming down. That needs a little bit of that red in there to kind of bring it up. We're just right now, we're building. We're building our petals. And this is a little, comes a little darker. And there's a little darker petal there. There's a little dark center. And up here, this is a little more like this. And then we have a petal coming around here. We have some little petals, smaller petals coming in here. Once I get out of this area, it'll move faster. This is kind of a an area that is a little more picky to define. All right, now this is going to come down like this. I'm not real happy with that little petal right there. I think I'll just come in here and make him a little bit smaller. There we go. That's it. That's what we wanted. And we'll have a little deeper in there. All right. And then this is coming like this. And then we have a, a petal that is here. And that's coming up there. And that should be very light right there. All right, now it's coming right there. And this one has a really light looking um, little tip on it. Okay, and I will get down in here and add a little bit of dark. A little light right here, 
coming over that petal. It's very important to get this cup right in here. And the only way we can do that is with our lights and our darks. I think we need a few more petals in here to kind of show and a little more dark right in here coming down to show that little center guy. There we go. Now then, this one right here is going to be down in here. And then we're going to use the light to come out. I'm, I'm really working hard now um, to, to show you um, what I'm trying to do here. So forgive me if I don't um, talk. I'm trying to, you know, it's just, it's so much fun to be able to create. And, but you have to be, when I'm talking to you, I have to be on both sides of my, of my brain at once, of which sometimes can be a problem. All right, now we're bringing that cup down. I think that needs to come over there, and that needs to come over there. Let's see here. Um, all right, now if this is right here, here, and in here, down here, okay, and then our little light. And so I guess what you're really going to get today is a, a real um, journey into my thought process as I create this rose. And this is going to be more of a, of a teaching show, I think. At least I hope it is. Hope you're all learning something out there, wherever you are. Mixing up the right color that I see here. And this seems to go down now, right in here. And we need some more dark in here. I think is going to have to come around here. I might not be able to do those sides. Um, I might have to do that in my home studio for you because uh, in doing the sides, I have to 
stand in front of the and in front of the painting, and that's not going to be a a good thing. Now we'll just bring this down, and it should get darker right there. Now, as these petals go out, they need to be quite a bit lighter. Um, and there's that little cup in there from the rose from the center of the rose. going up and around and we're coming down here with this petal. I have to outline that a little bit better. Still keeping in in this color scheme here. I want this to be nice and soft here for you, right there, so that you can see that this is that this is coming down. Okay, and. Now then this is going to be lighter and a little more yellower and and there again that's going to go up into here too that color and it's got to be darker where we have uh, this coming under here. This has got to be very dark so that it shows. Now then, what I'll do, just to give you a little uh, touch of, of finish here, what I'll do right here is a hook a little thing right like this and and put that on so that that goes around and it looks like it's um, coming around there okay and we'll probably take this and go like that make another petal right there to kind of uh, if but if we put the petal down then we have to put the dark behind it so that we can see it. There we go. Um, okay. This, this petal is going to be quite a bit lighter. They go almost to white. And so I want to get that on there. And have that ready, more reddish center. Coming out here. I mean, I, I almost think that I'm probably putting too many petals on here, but I'm having to uh, 
make it because we I'm trying to make it larger I'm having to add a few petals and so that I can make it um, um, fit the canvas so now we'll go back in with the dark there we go and that's going to be dark right there and that light is going to come up here and cross over and this is all going to be one petal right there okay Now then, um, we have this petal and it's coming down here and then we'll have a petal coming like this. And so the inside of that is going to be darker. And we're going to have a dark edge, very dark edge, that comes around here to show that that petal is ending. And another dark edge to come right here and show how that petal right there is cupped there. Now you see how that light in the dark forms the petal there and that lifts it right up. All right, now we'll do that over here on this side. And so we have a little bit of dark coming under here and right under here and back here a little dark there. Okay. A little bit of dark in there is necessary to kind of, you know, give it a little bit of a value change. Okay. Now here, um, this is one petal right here. So I want my dark to be coming right here. And right underneath it. Now this may be contrary to what I sketched out before, but there again, I have to be open to what the painting is telling me it needs. Let's use this little bigger brush. And we're gonna take some light. And I'm gonna put a little yellow in it. I see just a little tad of yellow. And I'm coming down over that dark because that dark is the shadow of the petal that's underneath here. And let's see here. Um, Okay, now then, don't want these to be quite so hard. I want to lighten up those edges just a tad. I 
Fingers are wonderful tools. They had fingers before they had fi uh, paint brushes, kids. Okay, now we'll come under here with a little bit of our dark and just kind of carve that petal out a little bit and make him be a little bit darker under there. And perhaps we need to have some shadow. Little grade shadow here color to put in here. And perhaps right in here, there's a little shadow behind that one. Maybe there too. And of course we do need that dark edge coming up right there. And then we'll just kind of make that come like that. Different brush and Maybe the shadow is, oh goodness, don't tell me I didn't bring the right brush. Okay, let's put a little shadow right in here. Okay, and we'll put just a little the shadow on the on the side of this to make him look like he's going down. He's turning around. Then we'll come back up and we'll bring this down a little bit. There. Now I'm going to take some dark and put behind here, a little bit behind here. And um, I'm afraid my roses are, my rose is turning out to be um, uh, very much darker than the one I see. And I think that's because red is my favorite color and I just can't get away from the red. I, when I do red, when I do roses, I always love to paint red roses. And I think that's the problem here. I'm wanting to paint red roses, a red rose instead of a kind of a peachy white rose. But I can always lighten it up when I, uh, before I bring it back to show you on the next show. I'm kind of wanting to do these these florals right now because, you know, it, it is um, springtime and the and the flowers are going to be blooming um, soon, very soon, and I don't know. It just seems like it's the time to think about flowers and gardens and rose gardens and beautiful, beautiful things like that. When I when I lived in California, I had the most gorgeous rose garden. It was just absolutely marvelous. And I had every color um, rose that you can think of. And you know what was so wonderful? Is that they bloomed all year. It was just, it was just a miracle how they could do that. But they did. And so on, I naturally had a very nice rose garden. I had other flowers too. Amenones. I hope I'm saying that right. They're really something. They grow so well in that warmer climate. 
I had a whole, my whole driveway was completely, totally lined with them one year. And the neighbors and people driving by would stop and they would say, how in the world did you get that to look like that, to grow like that for you? And I really, really don't know how I did it, but I did. And it was wonderful. Truly was. Going under here with some red. Gonna curve in here on this little tip a little bit. Maybe we'll put just a little tiny bit of the blue and make him make him turn under just a little bit right in here. Yeah, now he looks like he's turning backwards a little bit. <laughs> Isn't this fun? I'm having fun. I hope you are too watching me. I hope I haven't lost you. And I do thank you for for joining me today on Painting Journeys. Every, every week, I, well, every episode, I guess we do one episode a month, but every time it's a different subject matter. Usually we travel someplace um, on our canvas, you know, some, some foreign place or some place just across the state or maybe across town. And, and we talk about that, and it's, you know, it's just, it's, this is, um, I feel very blessed that, that uh, I was blessed with the ability to do this. And it's also very nice to be able to share it with you, my viewers. I can't really tell how this guy is turning out until I back up and get a chance to look at him, but I'll just keep um, going with him here and see what happens. All righty. Let's see here. Get this out here. I, I bet you can hear that brush, can't you? Yeah, it likes to sing. It's not scratching, it's singing. Singing to you, yes. Great big petals, oh my, yes. Yes. And I guess we better do this one behind here because it looks like it's gonna be left out right here so we better put a little red back there and have a little petal coming around the corner here and then we'll put some light on it all righty and that'll go back there and then we'll put some more light right in here to show this edge Maybe that needs a little more red in there. I use that white and it just looks kind of, of, um, of uh, chalky and I don't like that look. You know, each time you start a canvas, it is a, it is a learning experience. Uh, it's a, a journey. It's, you know, you, Sometimes it'll work, your ideas will work, and other times they won't, but 
Um, that's what it's all about, is just getting in there and having an, a vision and trying to make your vision a reality on your canvas. And if you don't do it just exactly the way you want to, the beautiful part about oil painting is that you can always wipe it out and try it again. There's no, there's no crime in having to wipe out something and do it again. No crime whatsoever. I want that a little darker in there so it looks like it's coming out of the center of the rose. Now I can use my bigger brush because I have um, bigger spaces. You know, bigger brush for bigger spaces. And there we go. And then we're going to have this leaf end right there. And now we can put some, some uh, of that lighter color, have some that lighter peachy color come on to it. And I think I want to have a little bit of my, um, excuse me here while I pull my paper out, a little bit of my um, shadow and right in here to show he's going down, he's tipping down. And he's tipping down too. He's turning. And this right in here should be a little shadowy too. Okay. Just a little bit, not much. And then right now then we'll go and we'll put some light, some nice light, a rich light yellow, I think, we're going to use. And let's see here what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to put that there and then along here a little bit and then right there so that he looks like he's turning. Now we got to soften that in. Now that is one big petal, isn't it? Might be too big, but we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. And we'll have just a little bit of a light come right there to show where he's going underneath. Okay. And then I think I, I want this petal here to look more like it's coming up. So I'm going to put some light on that and bring that down and around and into here. There we go. Okay. Um, let me see now. My rose is really looking like I need to make this a big rose that comes around up here too. With all these petals here, what I'm going to do is, I might not be able to do that today for you because my nice cameraman just let me know I only have 10 minutes left. So I think what I'm going to do though, when I take it to my home studio, I am going to make these larger petals come out around here so that it really looks like a big full rose. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. There, got that figured out. <laughs> so we'll put a little more light here. And there. And we want this to kind of be here and then come around. And then we want to take that darker brush. I believe that was this one. And hey, I think this palette's going to work for me. I just realized I'm getting used to it. Now, there we go. There we go. 
kind of soften those edges there. Yeah. There. There we go. And let's see here. This needs to have a little bit of more coral coming in here because it's a big old petal. It's just coming out of there. Yep. There we go. I like him. He's pretty. Okay. Now, let's see here what we got going on over here. Let's see. Well, if we're going to make this, the petals go all the way around here. All right. And I'll just draw them in here so that you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. Okay. Then what's going to happen is that's going to be fuller. And this is going to be shaped a little bit differently. And this, this petal right here is going to be coming down in here, like so. There we go. And then this one is going to come underneath. We need the dark first. Always the dark before the light. See, when I put that dark in there, that really helps to set those down and have it make sense that these, what these petals are. There we go. Okay. This is coming across here. And we want to soften that in just a tad. There we go. Okay. Now then, um, we have that on there. So we'll take this brush and we'll come back here and we'll start this petal right here. And, oh darn it, I think we're going to run out of time, kids. And that's not very fair. I'm just getting warmed up. I could paint here all day for you. Um, let's see. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what let's do. Let's make this come a little bit like that. And there we got a petal. And then we need some dark on this one. Right in here inside of it. And then we need some light. And I hope if you grow roses, and if you like to paint, you'll just pick one of those roses, bring it into your house, and just do yourself a rose painting. And if you would like to have a copy of the D this DVD, then you can just email me and put painting journeys on the subject line and you will be sent a copy. So just check to the, at the end of the credits for more information on that. Because if you want to try this technique, then I have the DVD for you to try it with. There we go. Uh, now we're going to come down here where I, we probably are not going to get this canvas covered, but we aren't going to worry about it. Ask me, am I worried? No, I'm not worried because I know what I'm going to do. And you'll have to be sure and tune into our next episode so that you can see what I did too. I mean, it is a 50-50 chance the whole thing might look different when you see it next time. Or it might be improved upon greatly. But here we go. We'll put some light down here. And you can see we need a little shadow. Um, and I think, let's see here. We only have a few minutes left, 
So like I said, if you do want a copy of this show, tune in to the, uh, watch the credits, tell you how to get one. And I'm really glad you joined me today. I'm uh, really glad you joined me today. We've had a lot of fun. We've just been gabbing away and talking about roses and other stuff, but, but it was fun. And we'll just, mm, we'll just do this because we don't want to. Then we'll take some dark lines and we'll make some rose shapes and there we go. And now it's a little more covered. And then we will finish it in our home studio. And when I come back to see you next time, you'll see it all done. So I, I think I better just touch this up a little bit up here too, a little color. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty much covered. Oh, maybe just one more stroke. One more stroke right here. Ooh, oop. Yep, there we go. Isn't that fun? Look at that. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed your show, uh, the show today. <laughs> and yeah, it's your show. I'm doing it for you. Thank you so much for joining us. Once again, this is Kitty Lynn Klish, and you've been watching Painting Journeys. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>